The Motor Cassi Centauro is a bike that divides people, and I have to say, I love them. It's another motorcycle that has unmistakable lines. Now for starters, I'll apologise to any purists out there already shouting about how I say the name. I know I'm supposed to pronounce it Gutsy, but I guess old habits die hard. They will always be Guzzies to me. The Centauro was built to celebrate Guzzies' 75th anniversary and used the then new 8 valve over cam Daytona engine, which gave it 95 horsepower. Now that might not sound a lot, but with almost 100 newton meters of torque from below 6,000 RPM, this bike had masses of grunt for the real world. Fitted with WP suspension, Brembo Serio Oro brakes, and a bitubo steering damper. The chassis is stable and inspires confidence. You definitely feel a part of the bike when you are sat on it, unlike many bikes. I just love the flowing organic lines and have to say, I don't think there are many bikes that have the sheer presence of the Centauro. It truly is a one-of-a-kind motorcycle. This next bike is another anomaly from Motoguzzi. The MGS01 is the mutant child of Getzi and Brian and the Style Laboratory, set up by Motoguzzi to explore more radical approaches and new technology. Built around the air-cooled four-valve transverse V-twin engine from the Centauro and Daytona, and the six-speed box from the V11, every inch of this motorcycle was built from the ground up. 1,445mm wheelbase gave this the handling of a pure sport bike, but with every part of the design on show. It's still a modern looking design over 20 years on, so you can imagine the impact it had at the time. Show after show the crowds poured around them, but above all else, this was a rider's bike. You can visit the website or the Redbubble shop linked in the description for the best biker t-shirts and other merchandise too. There are brand specific shop fronts with designs from Laverda, Ducati, Kajiva, MV Gusta, Emoticazzi and Benelli. There are some new Bermota designs up now too. There are also more exciting motorcycle adventures and other stories from the shed and beyond on the website as well as the channel. So why not grab a cuppa and take a look around? You won't be disappointed. I hope you get some great riding in and find some fantastic roads. Ride free everyone.